tonight we're going to look at the pleasant surprise that arrived when I came home. Well, it was here when I came home from TFCon on Sunday. Um, one of the boxes that was sitting aside for me. Shattered, gla shattered glass gold bug had arrived. Um, super, super happy, super excited to look, take a look at this thing. Um, I don't usually do this, but here he is in the box. I haven't opened him yet. But we've all seen the mold, so it's not like it's going to be anything big. But I did want to point out one important, crucial thing. They learned from their mistakes, and this time, the comic book was card-backed in a bag thrown in the box, and not just laying in the box like the Blur comic book was. The only thing that bothers me a little bit is we got the Blur comic book, which, if I remember right, is number one. But this one we get number four. I know Megatron got pushed back. I don't know why. I didn't pay that much attention. But it makes me wonder which books are number two and number three. So we have the comic book. I have not taken a look at it yet, but I will at some point. So now we'll take a look at Goldbug's box. Um, it's got the weird shape... That makes the box look damaged sometimes, depending on when you get it. Got the robot mode and the alt mode in the back. The gold and the blue and the black. Awesome shot there. Same shot there. Zoomed in shot there. With that awesome shattered glass Autobot logo. Alright, let's get him out of the box. All right, here's Shattered Glass Gold Bug out of the box, and I, I kind of tried to emulate the the picture on the box a little bit, and then I realized uh, it doesn't have anything to do with this piece, which I always found this piece to be just kind of a stupid little throwaway add-in anyway, so it'll probably just sit there for the rest of the review. Um, so let's actually, let's actually take a look at the guns. Uh, if you combine the guns into the kind of rocket launcher mode, and we'll you know we'll do more comparisons than just what I'm about to do now, but if you combine the guns into the the rocket launcher mode and kind of look at them the way they are like this, I, I really like the the added blue tip on the front, um, the. It's not really gold plastic, it's more like, it's a yellow plastic, it's not really gold, so I'm not so much worried about any kind of gold plastic syndrome, but here's a side by, so here's a side by side with the, the version that we got, it, that just flipped that around, um, with the, uh, Worlds Collide set that has the Bumblebee that's the exact same mold, but yellow, uh, again, not using the Volkswagen Bug, uh, for the mold. So this is essentially just a black and gold repaint of Cliff Jumper with a different head. So let's take a look at this head. Hopefully it's in focus. So there's those red eyes, blue head, silver mouth plate. This piece is translucent blue plastic. It's got the back where they painted the window blue. Gold hands. Nice paint apps here. That awesome uh, Shattered Glass Autobot logo there. Little gold touches here and there. And otherwise, uh, most of the plastic is black with a little gold triangle there. Uh, some joint pieces, I think, are gold. Like his shoulders, his over there where his legs connect, that's gold. His hands are gold. He's got the same articulation that all the rest of them have had, so we all know exactly what to expect. This is still just a piece that plugs into the back, but it works. Ah. So, there's Shattered Glass Gold Bug. Uh, let's take a look at him alongside, alongside some of his, what I would call, wave mates. Alright, and here he is uh, in robot mode with the other Shattered Glass Autobots that we've gotten so far. So we've got Shattered Glass Blur, Shattered Glass Ratchet, Shattered Glass Optimus, Shattered Glass... I keep wanting to call him Bumblebee, but it's not Bumblebee. It's Goldbug. I'll get it right sooner or later. Shattered Glass Goldbug. Um, 
these new color schemes are so awesome and these, these repaints if you're going to do a repaint this is the way you do a repaint you know you 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 make little subtle changes along with the big changes you know like the scar on his face and his little eye patch and the way better head sculpt they gave this one uh, just everything about Shattered Glass Optimus Prime, even down to just swapping the side the Autobot logo is on, is awesome. Shattered Glass Ratchet is a funky set of colors, but it works. And then now Goldbug. So I think he fits in perfect with these guys. The color differences, and I cannot wait to get my hands on more of these Shattered Glass figures. I hope I get some of the Decepticons soon. And I really am looking forward to getting the rest of the Shattered Glass ones. And I hope they uh, don't have any more delays or issues like with uh, Shattered Glass uh, Megatron. So here's a little bit of um, comparison. Let's take a look at vehicle mode. You ever have your phone die in the middle of recording something and you have to start over? So here's the second time I'm going to talk about this car mode. Um, I like part of the paint apps. I don't like all of them. So I like that this extra paint apps here and here kind of bring out what's more in the hood. I like the pinstriping and the door handle. I don't like the back. There's too much gold in the back. The spoiler's fine. The bumper would have been fine. But the lights should have not been black. I mean, they should not have been gold. Uh, to compare them with some of his... I don't, you can't... They're not wave mates. They're, they're literally just the same mold. So, same character. There's the... Um, the four the target four pack bumblebee there, which is just the cliff cliff jumper mold with the bumblebee head, and here's cliff jumper, which is the exact same mold with cliff jumper's head, and then just to kind of round it all out, the far superior Netflix version, which to this day drives me nuts that Netflix got this and nobody else did, um, and they could they're not even using it for a different repaint or anything it's just that one and it's so hard to get and the price on it's so stupid sometimes where i've seen it it's just nuts but it is the superior if i'm being honest um so there there's a uh, gold bug bumblebee classic bumblebee and cliff jumper in vehicle mode all right so some kind of final thoughts on shattered glass gold bug uh, he's an awesome addition to the other Shadow Glass figures, um, but I do have some gripes. One, to be honest, I think the head sculpt, they made his eyes a little too big. They should have made that a little bit more, his eyes a little more narrow. Um, if you look at the, the, the comic book and the way his eyes are, that's superior to, he has very bugged out eyes. Um, I like the colors. Uh, you can definitely feel it in the transformation and in messing with him that that mold has seen some miles. Uh, and I don't even have all the repaints and reheaded. Um, I'm not going to call them retools, re reskins, repaint, repaints with different heads named other characters. They're all the same robot. 99% um, of all of them is the same except for the Netflix one. And you can tell because, like, this is super loose. Some of the joints are really good and tight, but then some of the other joints are... I don't know, they feel kind of loose. It, it feels, I don't know if the word soft. Soft is not the word I want to use, but the, the joints just seem very fluid, not very tight. And I worry about how that's going to hold up in the long run. Um, just, you, can, you can't reuse the same mold. A hundred different characters, different times, different plastics, different colors. You know, re repaint after repaint after repaint and, you're, and not expect some degradation. There's some degradation, I'm not going to lie. Um, but overall, I do like the character, and it's going to look great on the shelf uh, when I have a full-blown, just shattered glass shelf. So, uh, if you didn't get it, I recommend you get it. Um, if you were hesitant because of the issue with the Blur comic just being a comic thrown in a box, they fixed it. It's in plastic. It's card-backed. Uh, so, at least they did that this time. Um, I'm not going to open that one until I'm going to get some... Um, frames comic book frames and put all the shattered glass comic books in frames i'll read them first and then they'll go in frames just because i like the artwork on them and they're different um so overall yeah i think he's a cool little bot he's got a couple little issues that whatever um i did notice when i put him in car mode uh it was very hard to get those uh seams to kind of close up a little bit the gaps seem to be just getting worse every time they remake that mold is what it is um 
But yeah. So, uh, I guess that's it for me. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. YouTube, 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 and later.